Guys, how's it hanging? This is going to be a really brief one, um, just because I've been shit with videos lately, I thought I'd share this quick. So, just wanted to show you a real world example of sort of out in the wild, in the trenches, fixing stuff. Um, so I've got a Duke 125, KTM Duke 125, customer complaining that it, uh, it doesn't start. Um, let me just disconnect my jump pack. So this is what's going on. Hear that sort of buzzy clicky sound classic flat battery um so the first thing i would do is just put a voltmeter on the uh on the battery see what's going on not sure that's coming out that well on film hopefully you'll be able to see it uh so i've got my multimeter hooked up to the battery uh digital meter I'm trying to do this whilst looking through the viewfinder of the camera uh volts dc uh, it's flat um, and then what we can do is we can if you want to get technical if we go to graphicing meter uh, volts DC and I try and crank it whilst holding my camera watch this now Yeah, it's dead as a doornail, isn't it? Fair dues. Uh, if we look up here, um, that's min max voltage. So if we go up here and reset the min max. Right, so that's that's where we're at. Uh, Ten point two. I don't know why it's saying nine point eight seven. Let's reset that again. It should be the same initially. There we go. Right. As soon as I hit the start button, watch that minimum voltage. Why, oh, yes. Anyway, so the battery's flat. Question is why. Um, first thing I'm going to go after is just look at the generator because the plug is really easy to get at. Not a top tip and uh, no affiliate links, but um, just mention. I think I mentioned this in a previous video. But these tool, these um, um, Noco Genius boots, they're they're a little bit Chinese and Mickey Mouse. But actually, for this application, um, clamps are a bit big for motorbikes, and I think they do one with smaller clamps, which I might invest in. Um, but I've got massive grippy jump leads in the van. I'll show you in here. Look, so I've got a, I've got a grip big. Oh. That's, uh, what's its what's its name? That's Megan's Teddy that's had to come to work with me today. Um, they share it in nursery and it has to go on adventures and we have to write about it anyway. That's not really what this video is about. Get that mat out of the way. But yeah, so I have got, um, I've got a, a, a plug there which is directly to the van battery and then I've got some jump leads that plug in. But anyway, only use that in sort of dire circumstances really. Um, so out here right so generator testing because it's easy to get at um where are we it's really hard to do this and actually see what i'm doing uh digital meter volts ac remember generator ac not dc uh right so the plug for the jenny is up here so i've got it disconnected generator's down here wires run up the frame spar pop out here so we're just going to do these um, as a pair this has been in my charging system video and this is hard to do one handed but we're going to go whack in there so we're going to go one in there and then the black one in the one next to it and then I'll move the black one to there so we do that way and then I'll move that along and then do the black one in that one and then in that one and then move that along and then black one and that one and that one. Now I know I've doubled up on a few measurements, but it's just a logical way of making sure you're looking at all the phases. Um, that's how I do it in my OCD brain anyway. Right, so I'll back probe these so they stay in and we'll start it up and see what's going on. Right, contact. It says, turn the ignition on. Uh... Yeah, that's pretty fucked, fair dues. Uh, let's move a plug along. Uh, try and do it while I'm filming. Uh, next one along. Well, that's a bit more realistic. Still a bit weak, to be honest. Expect more than that. But that phase is obviously better. Uh, move the plug along. 
climb for how we look like that now. Expected to overrange at 50 volts really, but it's not. Right, so while we're in here uh, and it's running, hopefully you can hear me and see the screen. I'm gonna go to uh, go to lab scope. Right, so this is probably one of the better phases, although I think this is underperforming slightly. Uh, let me swap it to the one that's bad and you can see the difference. Try and do this in one take so I don't have to edit. Right, that's the bad phase. So definitely generator, oh, let's turn this thing off, definitely the generator in there has failed, um, I've got a sneaking suspicion this thing's had a generator before, if my memory serves me correctly, anyway that's for another story, of course there's the regu regulator rectifier um, that needs to be checked out as well but I'm not going to, I need to get a, I've got a reg rec already I think but I haven't got a generator so I need to get a generator and I'm going to need to come back. Um, anyway, just thought I'd share that. I'm kind of in the wild, in deepest Gloucestershire. Um, anyway, thanks guys. See you on the next one.